With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Today our question is, draw more than OGIF from the given data and estimate median with the help of OGIF. So we know that if we are given the x's as first one is this and second one is this, right? So here the falling curve will denotes the more than O give, right? And the rising curve will denote the less than O give, right? We will uh, where we will plot the cumulative frequency with respect to the upper class, right? And in more than O give, we will place we will plot the cumulative frequency with the lower class, right? Here we can say that lower class is zero, and here 10, 10, 20, 30. Similarly, for all the values, we will plot our cumulative frequencies on a graph, and that will be our more than O give graph for the given data, right? So what we are doing here, we will make a table denoting marks number of students and cumulative frequency right let's write it as cf only so we have made the table around the column values now we can write the class intervals marks between 0 to 9 are attained by students number of students 5 right 5 students have obtained marks between 0 to 9 then 9 students have obtained marks between 10 to 9 then 16 between 20 to 29 then 22 students between 30 to 39 then 40 to 49 right marks and then the interval is 50 to 59 then 60 to 69 then 70 to 79 then 80 to 89 and then 90 to 99 so 80 to 89 and 90 to 99 right and the numbers are 5 9 16 22 26 18 11 26 18 11 then 6 4 3 6 4 3 now what we will do is other than the given class intervals we assume a class interval from 100 to 109 having zero frequency right so what we will do is we will find out the cumulative frequency first. So cumulative frequency for this data would be total number of students. We have to find out the more than curve, right? So for more than curve, we would have the highest number of students. That is total number of students are, we will calculate all these numbers. So after calculating all these numbers, it will give us 120, right? So that means there are total number of students are 120 total students so to find out the more than cumulative frequency we will subtract the corresponding columns like here we have to subtract these two columns we will get 115 then from 115 we will subtract 9 then we will get 5 and 107 sorry 106 similarly here subtracting 16 from it will give us 90 90 minus 22 would be 68 then 68 minus 26 would be 42. Then 42 minus 18 would be 24. Then 24 minus 11 would be 13. 13 minus 6 would be 7. 7 minus 4 would be 3. And 3 minus 3 is 0. Right? So we can see that we have subtracted the corresponding columns only. Okay. So now what we will do is we will plot the graph on which we will plot cumulative frequency on y-axis right and marks which is the number uh, marks marks column on the x-axis right we will plot a curve like this so we are making a graph here so this is a graph on y-axis we will plot the cumulative frequency right we will write here cumulative frequency and on the right hand side on x-axis we will plot the marks of the student all right so we can see that the cumulative frequencies are at a gap of 120, 115, 106. So we can take one unit is equals to 10 numbers, right? So we are taking 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110 and the highest cumulative frequency is 120 because the total number of students is 120 only, right? 
so we can write number of students also in the place of cumulative frequency so number of students right and on the marks we will uh, write down these intervals and since we have to find out the more than ogive so in more than ogive we plot cumulative frequency with respect to the lower limit class lower limit class right so lower class interval we will write a lower class so we can say this is the lower class intervals 0 10 20 30 so we can also plot them on a on a scale of 10 units one unit is equal to 10 marks so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 and the maximum marks is going up to 110 because we have assumed other one case also so this is our x axis and this is our y axis so we will start plotting the numbers the first number is 0 with 120 right 0 with 120 so we will write here 0 and 120 we can see the first number is at the highest point because we have to draw a falling curve to get a more than O give right then the next number is 10 and 115 so 10 and 115 115 would be somewhere here and 10 is this similarly here the next interval is 20 and 106 right 20 and 106 so this is 10 this is 20 and this is 100 and 110 so 115 105 and 106 will be somewhere here then the next is 30 with 90 so this is 90 and this is 30 then 40 with 68 40 is this and 68 would be somewhere here then 50 with 42 so 50 with 42 will be like here right okay after then with the 60 we have 24 with 60 we have 24 will be somewhere here right 24 will be right here and uh, then we have 70 with 13 so 70 with 13 this is not 24 24 will be right here okay 24 then 13 and the last two are 7 and 3 so 7 with 80 right 7 will be somewhere here then 3 will be right here and uh, for 90 we have 3 and for 100 we have 0 for 100 we will write it 0 right now by drawing by joining these points by a free hand curve will give us the required more than o give right so what we will do is we will join these points so joining these points this is how we will join the points right this is our joining joining each point with free hand will give us the more than o give so this is our more than o give more than o give of the required cumulative frequency right and we have to find out the median also so median can be given by the total number of students that is the total number of students are 120 right so what we will do is we will subtract 120 by 2 and we will get 60 right now we will search where are 60 will lie in this cumulative frequency column so we can see that it will lie between these two right nearest to 68 so we can say that this will be our median class right this is our median class or we can say median group so median will lie between these two values only right now what we will do is 60 is your after dividing it by 2 so we will plot 60 on cumulative graph so 60 will be right here what we will do is we will make a perpendicular from this y axis from this point 60 which will cut this curve at some point let's suppose this is cutting this curve at this point right and then we will connect this point to the x axis we will make a perpendicular to the x axis using this point right so this will be our point 
right so when you will plot it on a graph you will see that the answer would be 46 point something 46.23 right this is our x coordinate and y coordinate is 60 right here so we can say that 46.23 is the median where this graph will meet the x axis or the curve that x coordinate will be your median so we can say that 46.23 will lie between this class only so yes this is the median also we have a formula to find out median as median can be given by lower limit plus n by 2 minus c upon f into h where l is the lower limit of the median class interval c is the cumulative frequency preceding to the median class and f is the frequency of the class interval to which median belongs and h is the width of the class interval so here n is 60 60 uh, sorry 120 120 upon 2 is 60 here right and lower limit of the median class is 40 this is the lower limit so this is 40 let me write down here 40 minus cumulative frequency right so we can say that it will cumulative frequency succeeding to the this class right right here it will be 42 so we can say 60 minus 42 right and upon frequency and frequency will be 26 frequency corresponding to the class to the median class this is 26 right this is 26 into class interval is 49 minus 40 is 9 so when you calculate this uh, interval this term you will get 46.23 as the final answer so this is what your median for the required data thank you for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.